Hello everyone. I just wanted to give you some more details and give you a demonstration of what you'll be doing for the fifth grade keyboarding assessment. Um, this, the actual assessment will be done through Typing Club, but if as, as the information you received a couple of weeks ago shows, there have been some changes. So I just kind of walk, wanted to walk you through the process, see what it looked like so you can see the changes. The first thing is that you will have a typing test that shows up for you and your students. If you notice, you come here where it says typing test. Um, you'll see this test that says fifth grade keyboard. I'm prepared a sample, so I will show you what that looks like on that end. Um, it just has it just has basic information, what the text type will be. Um, I picked a, a lower Lexile level, so it should be fairly accessible for most, if not all of your students. Um, your, what the student, what the test will look like for your student, here, let's log in as the demonstration student, is when it comes up for them, You'll notice you have your lesson plans or your courses that you, they've been engaged in. And then you'll come, they'll come down here and they'll see test. The test itself is a one minute timed test. What's interesting about the test though, is that is not actually the rubric that the, the kids are graded on. During the test, you're looking for these four things. Is the student always dependent on looking at the keys? Do they look at the keys most of the time? Do they know the keys and keys by touch? And do they also demonstrate proper technique, meaning their rubric of one, two, three, four? So what happens is you have the student or students, obviously you'll probably do multiple of these at once, start the test. I'm giving them two, I'm giving two tries for this one minute test. Um, just in case we have technical difficulties when they do it the first time. They will start the test. They will start typing as you X or a new speed zone, comma, and etc. It'll go through the test. I'm going to pause it right there. It is the same. You can pause. Um, they can take off their, they can change the keyboard layout there, etc. cetera. Um, I am working on taking out the finger guides because obviously that will, um, that will be an unfair advantage. I'm working with the company to turn that off for the test. So as soon as they complete the test, it will get a certificate congratulating them for completing the test. What you will do is on the sheet, which you can record electronically or it prints nicely on one page, is you'll record the name of the students, what is their rating? And then it just has a spot for the date that you completed it, in case you have to do multiple sessions. Um, you, you should be evaluating how the student does when they're doing this, although um, I think it is okay to keep in mind if you think that it is not a fair um, assessment and based on your prior uh, experience with the students, um, you can certainly adjust your rating. Once you've completed that rating um, and have everything recorded, to access the keyboarding module on dashboard, you will start with your home screen. You will click here, you will scroll down until you find the little keyboard right here and it says keyboarding. You'll click there. Obviously, I have um, multiple names listed. You should just have your name, and then it, you'll see evaluation completed zero, and you click here to enter ratings. Um, I am picking a fifth grade teacher that I know, even though I've blurred out her information, and I will blur out the information for her students. It will give you um, this information right here. You click view enter ratings. When you do this, you'll notice that it has the rubric that we just looked at. It has the same 4321, and it lists the criteria of what a proper technique is for a four. And they have sit up straight, feet flat on the floor, etc. Then I'm not showing the student pictures, but they will show for you. 
All that comes up is you'll see the student's name. You'll select the rating for that student. You will do that for all of your students that you've assessed. Because it's in dashboard, it auto saves. And that's all you need to have done. Um, basically, the I would suggest doing them before um, you leave for spring break. Um, but because life happens, um, the, the due date for these ratings is the uh, the Monday we get back from spring break. Any other questions, um, let me know.